everyone, 23 vote back for more Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. And uh, if you remember from the last uh, video, or on Arika's route, uh, I am not exactly feeling the greatest. Um, I'm not sick by any means, like I don't have like a fever or anything. It's just that my voice is uh, in a little bit of pain, um, and I don't know why. But in any case, uh, let's just continue and press on because I'm not going to stop firing them to some stupid ass voice thing. So, this upcoming chapter. Actually, no, not yet. Um, so, what am I going to do? Alright, I'm going to do the uh, battle prep stuff and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. That was a lot of editing I needed to do. Um, but uh, I think we're pretty much set. So, a former lands instructor of Ef uh, to Ephraim. Grado's general, Dusel, often came to Renias as an emissary of his empire. Despite their stations, the two men share similar dispositions and a warm relationship. Why has Grado started this war? What is the uh, Mizama of evil em emanating sorry, from the country? Ephraim believed that Dusel can answer these questions. It is this belief that propels Ephraim forward into Grado territory. Oh, no wonder he decided to go. Because he just wanted to chat with an old man. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to have a, have a good conversation with my old friend. Let's just head straight for the enemy territory, because that's where he lives. But before... Please wait, Prince Ephraim. A message from Ephrelia. There's been an uprising in Carcino. Pablo is leading a force of uh, Reganade... I'm probably saying that wrong. Grado's supporters in, in rebellion. In Carcino? Any word of Rika? Is my sister safe? Last word received had Princess Erika heading to assist Prince Inez. We've heard, uh, we've not heard from her since. Last. I sent Erika to Ross and think it would be the safest mission. If I could, I'd pull out of here now and go look for her, but... Prince Ephraim. I know, I know. I mustn't let my emotions dictate my actions. If Carcino has allied itself with Grado, then defending Grado is our best bet. We proceed as planned. Tell them that. Understood. Be careful, Erika. Whoa! What? Was that an earthquake? I think it's past. Prince Ephraim. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. I was surprised, that's all. You're not shaken in the slightest, are you? Actually, it surprised me as well. I've heard that tremors such as those were commonplace in Grano. Apparently, they, were us they are usually weak and cause little, if any, damage. That you mention it. I remember a while back when I was first in Grano. Eric and I were startled by the tremor just like that one. Leon said he was grown used to them, and he just laughed. We don't have any time to tend to injuries just now. We must press forward, we must see to the capital. I do not understand. Why this course of action? What is the Emperor thinking? General Dussel, is that you, Selena? Are you to be assisting me in this duty? Yes. Frele's army will be coming soon from the north. We're just waiting for the order to engage them. Hmm. Prince Ephraim leads the enemy forces, doesn't he? That is correct. Prince Ephraim of Renias. Bah! Renias is our enemy. General, please give the order to attack. No. All, all, all order... Uh, no. Order all units to hold. We do not initiate any attack. I want to speak with Ephraim first. Excuse me for a second. And you! <coughs> <coughs> My bad. <laughs> so it's true. You plan to... <laughs> oh god damn it. You plan to betray the Empire and ally yourself with the enemy. What? General Dussel, you stand accused for, of treason of the highest order. Lay down your weapons and follow my commands. If you fail to do so, if you resist in any way, I will execute you on the spot. This is nonsense. Who is behind this madness? These are His Majesty's orders. The Emperor had anticipated your treachery. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself? Impossible, His Majesty. And they turn green. Cormag, you and I will bring down that traitor. Go around that fort uh, to the southeast and drive in, uh, into them. Uh, and drive into them from the sea. Oh, right. <clears throat> We're fighting General Dussel? But he's one of our all the cornerstones of the Emperor. How could... He's been like a father to you and to my brother. Do you truly mean to kill him? If that's what my Emperor commands, then yes, without hesitation. Cormag, if you are a true Knight of Grotto, you will do the same. Hmm. 
Well then, this is gonna be interesting. Prince Ephraim, the Imperial Grotto is before us. I know, but something's odd. They're chasing someone down. Is that a deserter? Wait, that's... Juicel? Prince Ephraim, your orders. We rescue Juicel. Ride! Alright. So, before we go into more of this, uh, let me just sort out everyone here, and then uh, I'll show you what all oh, we're well. doing. Oh, right, I forgot the... Oh, shit, I forgot about them up there. Alright, oh, hey guys, I am back, and uh, I lost, uh, so this is trial number two, <laughs> um, so I lost because Tana, for one, Tana is incredibly underleveled, as well as there's freaking ballista boats that shoot at, at you at the worst freaking spots. Um, so, I need Tana to actually get some experience from this, and like, pronto, because the fact that she's not getting any, he is already hard as it is, but, oh well, I guess we're going to have to push through this, uh, I want, yeah, you steal, steal lance and follow it up with the iron lance, and then I want you to Hold the Iron Lance, just the Iron Lance itself. Um, another thing I should have done is I should have bought, uh, I should have given these guys more powerful weapons to wield. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing I did not do. I should also have Ephraim, like, be a little bit more aggressive with him. But in most cases, yes, that's, that's that was a problem. Anyway, what's this? They've only just begun. What a disappointment. I was so wanted to witness the comedy of two generals hacking away at each other. Volta, what do you want? Ah, Selena, you are to return to the capital immediately. Do so is no longer your concern. His Majesty has declared you untrustworthy. I've been sent to relieve you of command. What? You've proven yourself incapable of dealing with a single old man. I'll tell you, having to clean up your mess makes things difficult for me, Selena. Now then, Baron? Yes, sir. I'm leaving. I can't leave Puerto Rico sad and loading in Carcino. You're in command here for the duration of this conflict. I'll take care of things. What do you think you're doing? I'm here at his... Him, uh, his uh, I'm here at His Majesty's bidding, and... Did you not hear me? His Majesty's bidding has changed. You, Selina, are not to be trusted. These are His Majesty's words. You share the same sentiments as Jusul. You could turn traitor at just as he has. You should feel honoured. Ah, sorry. Uh... He could have ordered me to kill you where you stand. That's absurd. His Majesty, he... He knows I'm trustworthy. Or well, he knows I am. And, uh... Then return to the capital and sort it out. Go ask your beloved master whether I speak the truth. I... What are you going to do, Selina? I'll return to the capital. I know better than to trust your word. I'll speak with the Emperor himself, myself. <laughs> stupid woman. If Grado wins too easily, there'll be no more bloodshed. We must do what we can to extend the fun. I believe it's time for me to return to my darling Arika. It wouldn't do for Glenn to arrive before me, would it? Take care of these things take care of things here before I return to you, understood? Of course. Oh boy. So yes, uh we thought we were gonna verse Selena, but no, we're just gonna be versing another generic unit known as Baron. Who's actually a very difficult boss. I should also mention, this chapter is slightly different to the other ones. This one isn't a survive till you win, or a survive... Oh, sorry, let me say that again. It is not a a uh, defeat all enemies, it's not a capture the flag, it's a survive... Oh, good crit! It's survive till, I think, the very end. Like, you have a set amount of turns, I think it's 10 turns you need to survive. And, uh, to do so, just, yeah, just survive, play defensively. There's no need to go aggressive, uh, but it would be very helpful if you do. As well as, I really, really, really don't like 
how fr the boats work in this freaking one. Like it's the only time the boats are here, but it's they're just they're so annoying. I don't like them. All right, well, first things first. Let's do what we can to remove these guys. And you know what? Just because I feel like it. Let's do it. Hit! Please! Aww. Damn. That's a shame. That really is a shame. I wanted that to hit so badly too. Oh well, you can't always get what you want. Oh, I'm getting a lovely kill there, getting a little bit extra experience on everyone else. Congratulations. Give Kyle the heal. Okay. Um Clearly obliterate him, please. Please do. Attack this guy as well. Yes, thank you, Nimi, getting the crits where I want them. Alright, this is turning out a lot better than the last chapter. Alright, forward, you're now up. I now say be careful because um, there's the Myrmidon down there. He actually uses a Lance Reaver. So if I have any unit that wields a Lance, they're going to get hurt a lot. And I don't want that to happen. So yeah, I, I'm using Lou to attack this guy indirectly, which is probably not what I wanted to do. She does anyway. But I didn't want Lou to be too far in front. That was the main uh, idea there. I can dish the damage on this guy early. He holds a hand axe. Do you hold anything else? No, just a hand axe. It is then. Okay. You're going to attack Nimi directly. That's... that's... that's unavoidable. But oh well. Tell me, brother. What should I do? Also, Cormag's here on this map. <coughs> Though Selena has left, Cormag has remained behind. I should also mention, um, unfortunately, Cormag is not going to be part of uh, this file. Um, he's going to be part of Rika's file. Which I don't know if that was probably the smartest choice considering how far back behind he is from uh, that chapter. Oh, right, you have a Lance Reaver. I was planning on getting the kill with you with, uh... Um, Tana, but that looks like it's not gonna be a thing. wonder if I can... Oh, sh come on! Oh, he's going for Ford. Okay. Well, Ford's getting hurt a lot. Like, badly. Now, let's see if I can actually grab this guy's attention down here. Should be able to. Oh! Oh my god! Rotana showing off her stuff immediately right off the bat. Okay, well done. Um, that helps heaps, honestly. Now, how to get rid of these guys is the next task. Let's first start with you. Level up for Nimi. Does Nimi get a good one? Speed and res, though her other level up was actually better, so this is actually <laughs> not looking good. Um. Damn it! Critical hit, maybe? Ah. I would have liked to crit Ephraim, but whatever.
Boom. Okay. And we get the final with Arthur. We're moving through this very quickly, so not always bad. You're dead, yeah, you're dead. Hands down, you're dead. Okay. And Colin gets a level up. Nice. Ugh. Can you get something else other than that, please? Oh, wow. Ford's in a bad spot. Alright, so we move you with you. Use the Vulnerary. And head south to support these guys down here. Uh, Ford can also just... Yeah, you can get the kill. I'd prefer Ford not to get the kill, but... If I didn't kill him there, they would have picked on one of my weaker units, and then... You know, he, he would have survived. Alright, so we're just gonna... Use Mulder to once again just heal up a nice, easy unit to heal. Okay, good. They're attacking the correct unit. I wanted him to get Tana. Because Tana needs the experience. Oh, Jesus. You know what? If I keep taking hits from those guys up there, at least... I should... Yeah, I should, like, try to keep getting hit. Uh, Commander Cormac, I know what I must do. I'm a sworn knight of Grata, and I have to and I have a duty to fulfill. Let's start by let's start by putting an end to that Frelian army. Move out. Okay. Well, now once again I'm in a bind. Um. Well, I want to heal forward, that's priority number one. Priority number two is I want to get uh, Tana in position to recruit Cormag over there. Oh, there's a thing here. <coughs> use that to my advantage. How? I don't know. You tell me. It is weird how some of the units down here don't move. Not that I'm complaining at all, but... Meh. Gotta be careful because I need to keep Tana within within range status, but not enough to affect Cormag's flight range or flight uh, moving. Did I run out of that sword? I did. Damn it! That sucks. That was the worst time for it to run out to. Oh my god, Tana, you're such a beast right now. Why couldn't you do this before? Oh, that's it? No. That ended pretty abruptly. Okay, so this guy is going to try and kill you. You're trying to attack back. That was a dumb idea. Okay, so these boats are once again going to be a pain. He's running away. Good, good, good move, good move. He didn't do something stupid. Alright, so... <clears throat> I realize I'm in range of this guy. Damn it. That's... this is... this sucks. <laughs> Can I crit him? No! Come on! I 
how am I gonna do this? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Magic all the way. Hmm. Good level up. Nice level up. That was a great level up. Kill you with you. That's also a great level for Art Arto. I mean, Arto is really just offensive and agile, but I guess anything is good. <clears throat> All right, so calm. Oh no. Okay, nice little toe poke there with Nimi and her bow. I can kill you, which is, yep, that's just what I wanted. Okay, get you in range of everything. Slim him to death. Um, is this good? Please be good. That's good, I like it. At least now you have some speed to back up your very small body. <clears throat> All right. Kyle is going to be doing absolutely fine down here. There's nothing to worry about. Alright, let's see what happens. Yep, I knew you'd go for calm. Damn it. Fortunately, calm was not able to get the double attack in, but that is okay. You are going for Ephraim. That is also fine. I wish Ephraim can actually start landing some critical hits, but. Oh well. Can't get everything, I guess. This guy's gonna steal my experience. Thank you. Ow. Kyle will be fine down here. <laughs> Alright. Wait, which one is he? <clears throat> which one is, is he? Okay, I'm just going to bend the rules a bit. I'm going to bend the rules. Because I'm, I'm pissed off at that stupid thing down there. Is this you, Cormac? Yeah, it's you, Cormag. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Can I get rid of these, uh... I want to get rid of these wyverns before we do anything more. I very much can. Um... Yeah, okay. I know what to do. So, we'll fire away at you. And now with you out the way, I can... Talk... Tana... Wait! Please stop fighting! I'm sure we can reach an agreement if we just talk. You are? My name is Tana. You're from Grado, aren't you? Why are you fighting against General Dussel? That's none of your... Do you hate him? Do I hate him? This isn't some petty schoolyard squabble girl. I'm a soldier of the Empire, and I have my orders. I've been sent to punish a traitor, and that's what I'm and that's what I aim to do. Are you telling me that General Jusel's a traitor? Don't you know him? Do you think that's really true? What I think isn't a question. Faith does not dictate my actions. I have my orders. Ephraim trusts your General Dussel. He's given him the benefit of the doubt. Have you chosen not to believe the reasons for his actions? Get out of my way! I'll waste no time with this duel of words. Wait, please. Protect General Jusel. It would be tragic if he dies before his motives become clear. Move. Please. If he won't get out of my way, 
I'll have to move you by force. Very well, if you must. But in exchange, I'm asking you to believe General Jusel. You're an odd bird. To think I'd lose a fight, not to a man's sword, but to a woman's words. What? You win. I will protect General Jusel. But I I plan on sorting this uh, whole mess out with the General himself. Do you mean that? I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not. But I think this is what my brother would have done. What? Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. I'll completely back up that way. Alright. You bastard shit. Down there. Just die. I don't care if I use Cormag. He's dead now. Alright? That's the only time I'm using him. Give me a break. I was pissed off at that guy because he killed, he killed Tana. Too many times. Too many times for his own good. Okay, so now we shall move. I'll use Arta to remove you. Now, do I recruit Jusel? Well, actually that could... No, no, I might want him to do it now. Alright, fine. We'll do this. Um, I'll send Ford down. Will I send Ford down? Alright, fine. Um... Shit! Okay, fine. Uh, I'll move... Uh, Ephraim here. Don't know what to do, guys. I really don't know what to do. Alright, Ford. Finish him off. Probably should have given that one to Colm now that I think about it. Oh well. Ephraim, get in position to recruit Dusel. Nimi, remove this guy. Alright. Mulder, heal Colm. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna send Colm down to the bottom left to stop the pirates from being idiots. Also, I forgot to visit this village, and I oh, shit. Oh no, I forgot to do that. That's not good. Okay. Well, Kyle can finish you off. That's just all I need him to do. He'll get a level up anyway. That's fine by me. All right. So Ford can hold these guys off fine. Actually, I think at this rate, I'm not going to be able to recruit. Oh, not recruit. Kill the boss. <coughs> now, here's a question. Can I kill, uh... Can I kill Cormag with Dussel? That'd be interesting. Alright, Kyle gets his hit in, and he wins. It's level 13 now. Get defense. Ah. Oh, well. The strength is much appreciated. Alright, so this cavalry freaking unit is a pain. Or well, it will be a pain, sorry. Alright, so Kyle dodges an amazing attack. Good job. Okay. Oh, he's running away. Okay, thank you. You gave me some room space. And they're still coming out. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Now, from if memory serves me, this guy doesn't move, so... Yeah, right. Oh, come on! Can I please just give a kill to... the right unit, not you, you jerk? Alright, fine. Um... Alright, so we're going to make a Kyle retreat. We're going to actually have him work on a different job. Actually, that was probably a dumb idea. Not so dumb as you think, but... Ow! What? How did you hit me? That's weird. How the hell did you hit me? Well, whatever. Alright, so now we're going to have... Uh... Nimi, you can chill there.
forward. Prepare yourself to intercept. Wait a minute, what do they have? Iron sword, iron lance. Okay, fine. Forge should be fine up here. Should be. Um, uh, Tana wouldn't be a bad choice to go up there as well. But I'm going to send Tana down here. I know there's an archer. I don't think he moves unless you're in his range, so... I'm going to trust uh, stupid AI for now. But if worse comes to worse, then we're in trouble. Also, can I just say how manly Dusa is on the bottom there? <laughs> Every time I look at him, he's such a manly man. Alright, so... Axe Reaver equipped. Talk to Dusel. Dusel, Is that you, Prince Ephraim? Why are those Grotomen after you? What's going on? Wait, we can talk later. Let's get you to safety first. Come with us, Dusel. Dusel, I am General Dusel, the Obsidian of the Imperial Three. This is this name and my service to His Majesty have been my life's blood. As of this moment, it is all gone. I have no reason to continue. Dusel, enough of this rubbish! You are my mentor. I will not let you die, Prince Ephraim. I know about the Emperor's madness. How will your death serve Grado? Who will help it? What what of your country? Its people, its future. You will live, Dusel. As a traitor in disgrace. I know for a man as such as this is uh, is more an uh, wait. I know that a man I know that for a man such as you, this is more agonizing than death. But you will live nonetheless. You will live for something more important. I understand. This old fool's life is yours. So yes, we have General Dusel. But you've got to keep in mind, um, though we have Dusel on our team, his uh, uh, if he dies game over thing is still in play. So do not let Dusel die. Although against these guys, I don't think he will. Uh, so now that we have Dusel, let's have a quick uh, skim through of what he's like. Uh, a courageous general in Grado's army. He's better known as Obsidian. And he comes as a great knight. Great knights are the promoted version, uh, the promoted unit of knights and or slash, sorry cavaliers. So cavaliers and knights can become great knights, and they're kind of the mix in between the two. Uh, high moving defensive tanks, really, and they're really awesome. Uh, they can wield all weapons of the weapon triangle, and uh, admittedly though, <clears throat> Dusel comes at level eight, and his stats aren't that great. Um, <coughs> for a level 8 Great Knight, it's not the best you can have, but there are his stats on the list, and you, you just have to be proud that we have such a manly man on our team. Like, Dusel is the man. Okay, so Tana can actually get the kill here. Um, probably what I'm going to do as well. Okay, yeah, so that, that, that side's pretty dumb. This side is probably just going to focus all on Colm, which I am very much okay with. Colm is now at level 13? Yes. I would also love it if Colm could get some strength. Oh god! Okay, don't kill him. I don't know how the 15% chance hit me, but whatever, he hit me. That's all that mattered in the end. Okay. This side, man, it's it's very packed. I feel sorry for this green cavalier here as well. He's gonna get, he's gonna get attacked. Okay, okay, that guy, that guy can't hear me, so thank God. Ah, oh, jeez, those units up there. Getting a bit cr <laughs> getting a bit cramped. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm going to hold the fort here. So, let's... Uh, don't want to use an... No, don't want to use an elixir. Trade with Kyle. Use the vulnerary, equip the iron lance, and move to the right, please. There we go. Alright, now Ephraim can keep moving. Uh, we can have you lovebirds down here remove these guys. Yeah, 
If this kills me, screw this game. Screw this game if this kills me. <laughs> oh god damn. The, the scariness. The, the shit yourselves. Okay. So Tana will get the finishing blow here. Take more damage, Tana. I need it for Mulder as well, so... Okay, Tana should be making it back pretty easily. I really would like it if all my other units can uh, start getting experience as well. <coughs> I think, at this point, I think I just might have Ephraim just push to the boss. I only have eight... Oh shoot, I only have a few turns left. I'm probably not going to make it. At this rate. Let's hope... Let's hope that uh, enemy units here don't, like, charge at me, because that'd be stupid. Can I kill you with a steel? I can't, but... Oh well. Let's just have you stand there. Wait a minute. Oh, get out the way! Oh wait, hang on a minute. Okay, good. Huh, so here come these guys, they're still just trying to kill me, and Tana, 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 calm down. <laughs> calm down, I don't want you to kill them too much. You've gotten so many critical hits in this episode, I probably should have had you on the bottom of this thing. You got more speed, good for you. <coughs> Defense would have been nice. Oh, but you dodged. A dodge is better than getting the hit, so... <laughs> Alright. Tana's doing well. Now, as of... Okay, you're gonna be stupid. Bang! You can see a great knight in form. <coughs> Damn it! <coughs> I'm dying again! This isn't good. <coughs> sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. <coughs> it's getting really hot. Maybe now the fever's starting to kick in. Hang on. I'm just getting in a better position, maybe. Okay. <coughs> ah. Come on, I'm 23, but I can take a few... Take a few coughs here and there. Nothing special. Oh, man! Oh, piss off! You have a physics staff? Now I want to kill you, just because I don't want you to be a douche. You didn't, feel, you didn't fully heal him, but... Okay, thank you for standing there. Probably the best spot for you to stand. Okay, so now we... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get that one up there. Oh, well, too bad, too sad. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I didn't visit that village up there. It's like totally bypassed me. So I'm going to have to live on without it. No good. What? This. Huh? I found it. I can't use it yet. Goodbye. Uh... Oh, a hero's crest. Well, that would have been, been bad to miss. Technically, I can do this. I just need to push through them correctly. Uh, and to do that... Alright. I'm gonna try push. <coughs> We're gonna push the enemy. Push him back. This is, gonna re this is gonna use every unit I... Well, not every unit, but a lot of the units I currently have. Let's see if they can make it through. Alright, so... Smack, bang. Alright. Good start. 
Who's the weakest here? 14? Can I actually kill you? I very much can. I could also kill you. But I'll hold off that shot in a sec. I can definitely, I can definitely get this, uh, um, village up here. Actually, do I have enough movement? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, shit. Um. I didn't think this were um <clears throat> all right I think Tana can take one extra hit yeah Tana can take a hit now we get to see Dusel's silver X animation uh, as much as I don't like using him you can if you want they're not, they're not, it's not like you're, uh, restricted to not doing so. It's just that people prefer you not to do so. Alright, so, Ford finally got to that village. Um, I'll put him here, just in case. Now we see what happens. Okay, you're going for him. <clears throat> Which, you know, that's fine. You can go for him. No, he died! He died! Oh, my voice is dying too! <coughs> ah. Okay. Well done, Tana. It really does suck that I couldn't kill the boss. At least, at least killing the boss wasn't part of the required things to do. Yeah, go for forward. Why the hell not? Keep going for forward, boys. Not like you're gonna do anything anyway. And that, f that, that freaking. You're really putting yourself in the way so that Ford wouldn't kill them. I don't really care about them. The area of the ocean is often blanketed in a thick fog. I toiled under it myself for many hard years when I was still sailing. We always made sure we had torches, and the like ready. Oh yes, and there's this. This torch staff shines just as bright as any normal torch. Of course, if nobody, uh, if nobody you know can use it, it's just so much as extra baggage. Will you take it? Oh, go ahead. I'm planning on resting my old bones here for good. My sailing days are done. So there we go. We have another torch staff, which is actually going to be helpful for the next chapter, because the next chapter is not going to be fun. Well, it's it's, <laughs> it's fun, but just ugh. All right. Well. Now, now I want to go on the aggressive. You have a killing bow. It's not good. Okay, well then. What do we do with our drunken sailor? Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> yeah! Good job, loot. Okay. What else can I do? Arts are also getting the job done. That is really disappointing. I really wanted to kill Baron, but guess I couldn't kill Baron this round. It was a good final level up for you.
Yeah, because I'm not sending I'm not sending Kyle to take on a on a uh, this guy. That would be just retarded. Um. Yeah, let's let him lance him to death. Now I'm just scared. If uh, if this enemy does move on the last turn, I'm very much dead. Ortana is very much dead. Because the killer lance is a very threatening thing. Sure, we'll give him a scare. <clears throat> you a scare. <laughs> Actually, just kill them. That was pretty much a waste, yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, technically, I can... Um, please, for all that is holy, don't move, Archer Man. I really don't want Archer Man to move. If he moves, um, it's game. What's the verdict? Does he move? I know you do, but you're just gonna do that. Yeah, okay, whatever. <clears throat> I know the bow's gonna... Yeah, you're gonna do something too. Or not. There we go! <sighs> They've held on for too long. If this continues, General Volta will have me. Prepare a ship. We must flee quickly. But General Volta, he'll be so angry. We're doomed either way. General Volta will for never forgive our failure here. And if we stay, we'll be devoured by like those other fools. Our best bet is to give up and escape with our lives. Command Baron, wait! Well, they just decided to... to wimp out and run away. Uh, the remaining eight entries have fled. I see. And what of Dussel? Is he unarmed? Unarmed? Unharmed? Yes, this way. Prince Zephyrum. You've grown to be quite the impressive commander. I remember what a stubborn young lad you were when I taught you. Any skill I have, I owe to you, Dussel. I'm curious, why are you being pursued by your own troops? Speak to me, Dussel. I want to put an end to this war. I'm sure you feel the same way. As you know, the Emperor was once a man of compassion. He loathed war, and he worked to build peace across all nations. Then one day, that all changed. But why? Why did he change? What happened? I wish I knew. But if you're looking for a likely cause, I have one. This all seems to have begun when Prince Lion and the Mages created a strange gemstone they refer to as the Dark Stone. Wow! The Dark Stone. That doesn't sound creepy at all. That's what, that's what the clerics and the prince called it at any rate. Now I'm just a soldier. I don't know anything about these magic things. But they said the Dark Stone is more powerful than, even than the Sacred Stones. And the Sacred Stones had the power to defeat the Demon King? If the Dark Stone is stronger than they are... Ephraim. What is it, Mur? The wave of evil I felt surging from the capital. It hungers. It consumes. It, en it envelops and transforms. This power can tarnish the purest of souls with its corruption. Are you saying this Dark Stone is responsible for the change in Vigard? Timing fits, doesn't it? The stone is created and then... Dussel, where is the Dark Stone now? It's in the capital, with Prince Lion. He's been carrying it with him ever since the day it was created. Understood. Dussel, I'm going to the capital. I must talk to Lion. Maybe we can restore the Emperor together. I'm going with you. But we'll be fighting Grado's army. Your own men. I appreciate your concern, but I've already been branded a traitor. Prince Ephraim, if you mean to save my lord the Emperor, I hope to restore him to his former self. Then I will pledge my loyalty to you until your cause is won. Well, there we go. We have now have Dussel on our side. Oh, no. I didn't keep the three green soldiers alive. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> 
Well, that's expected. Oh, this music. Oh, hi. Well, hello there. Tell me, are you waiting to board that ship? Uh, yes, we are. I recommend that you abandon your plans, my friend. The locals are too frightened to set sail upon these seas. Is there a storm coming in? No, no storm. Demons. Some sort of phantom ship commands these seas now. A phantom ship? Yes, but you needn't worry for long, my friends. I plan on purging the seas of that pesky ghost ship. Oh no, here we go again. Ha <laughs> ha ha, well said, Princess Larachel. I, Larachel, am destined to become the protector of the seas. Fare thee well, strangers. Come, Dozzler, we must find a ship. <laughs> Sounds fun! Come on, Renek. Honestly, the Rachel, do you even think before you set these plans? Oh, please, someone end my misery. What was all that about? No one knows. <clears throat> hey, a boat! Prince Ephraim, our ship has arrived. Let us prepare to board. Something troubling you? No, it's nothing. Alright, here we go. Wow, yeah, I failed. I failed that chapter. That's not a 100% run. Oh, damn. I forget what you get from those guys. I think... I believe you do get an item from them. But I don't know what it was. Because one of the green units died, um... You don't get the special cutscene where uh, basically what happens is uh, Dusul says farewell to them for their uh, loyalty towards their commander, and uh, they, the three soldiers there, they're going to head to Frelia and join their army uh, in rebellion to Grado, of course. So yeah, that's basically it. And I believe, I believe they give you an item. I don't remember because I don't remember. I don't play Ephraim's route as much as Arika's route, just because every time I do a playthrough, um, I usually do Arika's first, but... Oh well, in either case, that's that. Uh, so, that was kind of a... That was a semi-successful round. I managed to get all the villagers. Um, I was unfortunately not able to keep that green unit alive, so... Technically, this playthrough has been tarnished to get a perfect 100% run. But I really don't want to do that again. I'm not really feeling well. My voice is in so much pain. But in any case, that was that chapter. Uh, next time, we're going to be going back to Eureka's route, where we will be um, uh, going to follow a 10-year-old boy to a village known as Cape Helen. But for now, I am 23 volt. I am ending my turn.